Hello, welcome to the episode of How To. You're here with me, Web101, and we're doing a different episode because usually it's about Minecraft and things, but now uh, I want to do an episode on how to upload decent footage uh, from recording on Fraps and things like that and edit it and then upload it onto YouTube uh, in decent quality and at a quick rate. Um, so I think this is one of those things that isn't really out there on YouTube. There are people who say, oh, we do this, do this. Um, use this quality, it'll look really, really good. Um, you know, and I just thought maybe it'd be handy for people who are aspiring YouTubers who want to make decent gameplay videos, uh, then this tutorial will hopefully help them out in their quest to do so. If I had someone who could actually help me out in making decent videos, then I, I'm sure I would like um, this tutorial. So hopefully this will be helpful and educational. Okay, so basically what I've got is I've of um okay so I've got Saints Row the Third. Now if you guys have watched my Saints Row the Third, it's at decent uh graphics, um, because I'm playing it on my Mac uh on a a partitioned Windows thing, uh on boot camp, and I've recorded it at decent quality. I think it looks quite good from what it is. Uh go check out the videos. So it's decent quality, I've recorded with Fraps. Fraps records it in its purity and it makes huge ass files, that's one thing you ought to note. It's like three gig every three, four minutes. So it's like a gig every minute. So make sure you've got a big enough hard drive. Uh don't recommend recording onto an external hard drive. Um so I've so I've got the footage here and I've got my editing software. I'm using Final Cut Pro, but this applies to Adobe Premiere or um what's the other one I got? Oh, uh Vegas, I think. Um I think it's called Vegas. Well, things I'm, I'm so used to using Final Cut, I just use this. So basically, you're gonna want uh, get Fraps and an editing piece of software that you're familiar with and you can play around with. So what I've done is I've I put it all into a sequence. I synced up my audio and stuff like that. And um, the way I did that is by when you record, you got to do like a thing that um, that you so you know when such stuff happens. So basically, I will, for example, have it on the menu screen. I will then say clicking the button to press continue now and I will sync that up, or if I say move my player character forward now and I will sync that up with, that, with the audio and the footage. So it's always good to kind of have like a clapperboard kind of thing. So keep that in mind when you're filming by the way, so it just helps you out in the future. Recommendation, use Audacity to film on Windows. So yeah, I'm going, I'm hopefully I'm not going too fast for you guys, so basically there you go, there's nothing else you need. Audacity, <laughs> a microphone, fraps, <laughs> um, and editing software. So after you kind of got it in place, you kind of just go through it. And well, me personally, I like to cut things down because well, there's boring bits like this driving sequence. Not much really happens. Um, so I cut all the boring stuff out and find the interesting stuff, and I end up getting this stuff here. Loads and loads of little cuts. That's quite entertaining. I personally, everyone has their own different editing style. So once you have that together, you put it up. You know, maybe have your my. Specialized uh, ending thing here. So yeah, put put that together. So when you got your video cut together, it's very simple. Just uh, you can even probably do this on um, Windows Movie Maker, even though it'll be a pain in the ass. But you can give it a go. Um, also, one thing to note is because it's an AVI file, the Fraps thing. Just try and see if you can download some sort of drivers or things to work. I mean, um, I quite like Final Cut on the Mac because I just put the AVI in, I render it. Uh, rendering is basically, um, I don't know how to really explain it. Basically, you need to render stuff to make things work. Let's just, let's just say that. <laughs> I don't want to go into all that boring stuff about editing, but that's basically when it needs to happen. And then I render it and it all just play quite nicely. Okay, so editing, I think if you really want to go too, if you want to go in depth in editing, then I can. But for now, it's about uploading high quality onto YouTube. Recommendations don't. Um, Upload it straight from AVI because it will it'll either take forever because it's like three gig, or it just it just won't it'll just be crap. Always use an editing piece of software. Now uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to export it, but this applies to every type of program. As far as I know, Adobe Premiere is so similar to Final Cut that I think actually it used to be owned by Adobe, so they have the same st kind of style. And Vegas, I'm sure, has the same thing. They all have the same kind of basic layout. So. Uh, you go on to, oh, also make sure your sequence is selected, sequence 1. So, you go to File, Export, 
Now I'm using because it's obviously uh, Mac and things. Go on to QuickTime conversion, but I imagine that it will just be uh, the same for Vegas and Premiere. So uh, I guess it'll say something different to QuickTime conversion. But you basically want the one that pops up with all the stuff, all the lovely bits of information. So um, QuickTime moves. So you have, you have drop down menus here of things. Like I said, things are different on different programs. I'm using Final Cut, so I'm familiar with this stuff. But just apply it to different things. You know, it, it's, it's all they're all kind of same. But you want to get the same goal from it. So um, options, options, options. Let me just quickly choose a destination. Let's put it on desktop. So it's a Saints Row. Saints Row, third nine, episode nine. Very basic. I'll do the other stuff later. Options. So you basically get this general window here, and um, what you want to do is first of all settings. So settings, you get this kind of thing. I've seen this on quite a few other programs, so don't worry if it scares you a little bit. Um, okay, H.264. Now this is um, high definition for one thing, and also, personally, it compresses things into a smaller file size, but maintains its um, quality. If you're burning things on onto a DVD and you're in England, do DV PAL. If you're in America, you do um, DV uh, NTSC. PAL is UK, and NTSC is America. So it depends on uh, what DVD you're using as well. Uh, all the other things are quite complicated. I think I did a video once about Apple Intermediate Codec and all that stuff like that. But don't worry about it. Just use H.264 for YouTube. It compresses it down to a small size. And it maintains its quality. Okay. Um, Keyframes automatic. It always says every 24 frames because that is the standard. But I'd say automatic because uh, you never know. I've never done it with 24 frames before, and I'm not going to start doing it now. So don't worry about this um, quality thing. You can have it on best if you want, but when we click restrict, it takes down to high anyway. Okay, so data rate. Data rate is basically the size of a megabyte per second. So what you kind of want to do is, I always do things by about 700 megabytes. Uh, so I always do 7,000 uh, kilobytes per second. So basically... So basically, you'll get about 700, 700 megabytes or so, maybe even a bit less, depending how long your video is. Um, my video is about 12 minutes long, and this should come out 700 megabytes. So the, this data rate thing, actually, if I was told earlier, is actually quite important. Um, this will determine how big your video will be. If you make it 70, if you make it 70,000, you give your compressor more option to take to, to create more data rate for it. If you if you click automatic by the way, it will and you, play, you can click best. This will export it and you're looking at about for a 12 minute video about 1.3 gig. That's so if you want 1.3 gig, you're welcome to have it, but uh that's just more time. That's double the time than if you put it on like 7000. 7,000, I think, is a decent number because it's 600 megabytes, which isn't too big. It's not too small. If you make it any less than like 500 megabytes, you might start losing quality. But um, the thing with data rate as well is if it's too low, if you put down 1,000, then, like I said, you're going to start seeing pixels and stuff because you haven't been allowed your data rate to kind of make it look nice. I hope you guys are paying attention to my voice droning on and on, but this is very important, so 7,000. Okay, next, size. Size is on different programs as well. You kind of want to go for 1280 by 720 HD. This is, this is obviously high definition for most things, and YouTube obviously can do high definition, even though you probably won't notice it on a computer screen. Um, but it's, uh, 120 by 720 is also the same size. If you're viewing a YouTube video on a small box, then uh, and also maybe medium box, that is the kind of size. If you if you put it by um, any kind of smaller, maybe like four by three, you'll notice it. I think there's a video I did in four by three on, I think it's my uh, little bit planet. That's for, that's in four by three because I exported it differently, and uh, you can tell. So this is a good one. Also, it's HD, so it keeps its, it keeps its quality. So one two uh, twelve eighty by seven twenty HD. Say okay. So with sound, there is a HD setting for sound, but I don't really bother with it too much. It's not too much of a problem. As long as you keep an eye on your sound levels, everything should be okay. Continue. Okay, got everything set up. Quick time movie, and save. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to take all the information you've given it and compress it into a lovely video. Now, uh, depending how fast the computer is and um, how much footage you have to deal with, depending on what also file types it is, and rendering, and all this different stuff like that, 
it may take a while. So it's my, things with Apple and stuff. It says about four minutes, but it's just going to keep going up and up. Five minutes. There you go. So we will come back to this when it's done. Okay, so now that that's finished uh, exporting, we'll go on to desktop, find the video, uh, what do I call it again? Saints Row 3rd 9. There we go. So that's 824 megabytes. It's not too bad. I may do another export to maybe make it a little bit more smaller, but uh, you have the video here in its actual um, size. Oh, upgrades. I got upgrades. But as yeah, you can see, far from completing it. <laughs> It's looking good, oh, high really? quality. So I'm thinking of like the big, big guy. Keep it maintains the same graphics. One one thing I quite like about Fraps is that actually, um, when you export it, depending, it doesn't really matter what kind of thing you export that it will actually maintain the graphics that you've recorded in, which is quite <laughs> cool. It's not like if you recorded on a video camera, and uh, you know then did that. I just. See so yeah, look, it's maintaining the graphics. Oh, it looks really cool. I'm quite Why happy with that, that, so I'm happy to upload that. Oh, I got two in one. So yeah, obviously change the data rate. Uh, it shouldn't affect it too much. I mean, if anything, make it 5,000. And it should be okay. So uh, so yeah, just try it out, but the data rate is probably the most important thing. Uh, upload that to YouTube, and it, just like I said, change the data rate and make it a smaller file size. And it will, um, it will basically will take half the time it would normally take. People with, and I've got like, uh, I don't know what, I've got like what, almost a megabyte upload speed. So that's a megabyte every second. It's 800 megabytes. You know, that's like what, in two hours and a little bit, I think, something like that. You know, just put it on in the morning. And uh, what I normally do is I get up early in the morning, like about eight o'clock, put the upload in, and then uh, go back into bed and have a sleep again. <laughs> That's what I normally do, set it running, set it uploading for a couple of hours. So, um, obviously people with um, not very good internet, just, um, you know, just keep in mind the data rate and export it and just try out different sizes and eventually you'll get your own system. So that is a good way to export uh, high quality fl um, fraps recordings. Uh, use an editing software, export it, make sure you get a data rate sorted, and also your size selected for one uh, for 1280 by 720 HD. Make sure it says HD in there, and it will look fabulous. I'm going to do a tutorial about how to do it on um, ScreenFlow as well. So I'll teach you a little bit how to use ScreenFlow, because that's what I use for filming. I get a lot of questions, what program do I use to record? I use ScreenFlow. So I'm going to do a little story about how to use that and such, which would be interesting to record using ScreenFlow to give an example of how to use ScreenFlow. Interesting. That would be quite a challenge. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys, and I hope you look forward to more. If you have any requests, please leave a comment below of what you want me to do next. Uh, anything editing-related, uh, recording-related, what microphone I use, um, just anything, everything, and I will make videos on it. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, subscribe because it really helps me out guys. And from me, Web101, I will see you in future videos. Bye!